We want to pivot now, of course, and take a look at our daily segment highlighting the, highlighting the best of Bloomberg Intelligence. Flows into some of the commodity, the energy ETFs, sky high at the beginning of this year, and you saw that through with the performance, but now starting to see a little bit of a reversal of that. Joining us now, James Seifert, ETF analyst for Bloomberg Intelligence. Could it be as simple as we've gotten a lot of gains and now we're taking some of those? What do you see behind the flows? Yeah, so it's undoubtedly people probably, they obviously made a good trade. The they money poured in for the first four or five months-ish, and then the exact opposite happened. Money has poured out for the last four or five months of 2022. So some of it is definitely what you said, people taking money off the table, they did well. Obviously, also, there's a bit of a correlation in these products with performance. So money comes in when it's doing well and it goes out when it's doing bad. We actually, uh, I gave a presentation and I said, is this in ETF investor? signaling that we might be heading for peak inflation and it looked prescient at the time but obviously now with the way uh, oil prices are going and gas prices uh, it's it's taking a reversal so we'll see if the flow is also follow suit in the next coming weeks and what about sort of the area in which we look at Treasury flow uh, where people are betting rates are gonna go and you said there's a sign that maybe this is peak something but do, are people bracing more generally for the path to be ever higher in rates and what that means for an ETF flow yeah, so an ET, what we're seeing is Treasury ETFs is like the hottest area of the ETF market right now. Really? They've taken in $80 billion this year, and it's across the duration spectrum, right? They're, they're taking in money long-term, short-term, intermediate. It doesn't matter. Um, and there's a few reasons for that, right? So for first, it's rebalancing. They've been crushed. So if you your, your fixed income is getting hit, you're going to rebalance and buy more. Uh, yields, there's an alternative to equities now because you're actually getting yield and income on your Treasury. So that's part of it. And then also, there's the whole story that we've been hearing for the last few weeks of the recession fear that the Fed's going to have to stop hiking. Uh, maybe some of that slowing down after last week's Jackson Hole speeches, um, but that's part. People are betting that uh, the Fed isn't going to hike rates as much as they say they are. And then finally, as I mentioned, it's the short and ultra short, the T bills, the the one year, the three year. Those are taking in tons of money as people are trying to take off duration risk. So it's been an absolute feeding frenzy for Treasury ETF so far in 2022. And I think it's fascinating also because that comes off the back where some of those ETFs were actually the biggest buys among funds in the second quarter of this year, and you're seeing an extension of that. I'm wondering also this idea of nuclear energy and what this means, alternative energy sources in the wake of some of the turmoil we're seeing, what does that mean for some inflows into some specific ETFs? Yeah, so this ties in really well with the last segment. As, you, as your last guest mentioned, nuclear is going to be a part of the mix. You talk to anyone, they say that nuclear is going to have to be a significant part of the mix if we want to be uh, zero carbon or at least renewable. Um, so we have URA from Global X and URNM from Sprott, Spot, um, and those are two ETFs. They're up big today, 10% and 8% respectively, last time I checked. And they are basically uranium miners and anything in that industry, so they're going to do well uh, when there's a lot of demand for uranium exposure. And that's happening now as we're hearing a lot of like U.S. power plants and, Uran and Europe power plants talking about keeping those nuclear power plants online uh, longer than already planned.